Alola, folks! It's me, your host, Spookalai here. And, folks, we're here for episode number 19. <laughs> we're still alive, barely, folks, but we are here for episode number 19 of our Pokemon Moon Semi-Blind Nuzlocke. In the last episode, folks, you guys need to check it out if you haven't already. I'm about to spoiler drop a huge atomic bomb on you people. Check it out. Link to the playlist in the description. Check it. Please. Alright. Last episode, folks, we got to Wella Volcano Park. We took on the fourth trial. And we got blown all the way back to Mele Mele Island, folks. We got blown from the park all the way back to Mele Mele Island. Because the totem Pokemon Salazzle took out four... Well, no, the to the trial took out four of my Pokemon. Salazzle took out three. She took out Booty Cheeks the Rattata. She took out Clown Town the Magby. And she took out Lonely the Finneon. And she almost took out Zenyatta the Tauros. And then the trainer, one of the people for the trial, took out uh, Meloso the Tentacruel. So anyway, folks... That happened, we unlocked the fourth trial, we got the Fire EMZ, which is useless to us now because we have no way to use it. And we now have to go and unlock the barricades from Route 8. So, uh, in between episodes, what I did was I looked at my team, I tried to grab whatever I could. The only Pokemon I found that really sparked my interest was Party Boat, our Slowbro, uh, our Slowbro, our Slowpoke here. And even then, not that much because of the nature but Tackle, Growl, Water Gun, and Confusion, she's gonna be our- she's gonna have to help us out for this until we get something stronger. <laughs> but so far, Hanzo and Tauros have been pulling through. They, they helped us so far, let's hope they help us some more. We're gonna continue on, and I'm happy to say that we were actually, in fact, underleveled. That's what I like about this game, is that it's more difficult. That it's actually harder. And that we need some potions. I'm gonna go in the discount store and buy some potions, folks. Welcome to Thrifty. Okay, so we get one every time we come in. That's kind of cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, which one of you people sells the potions? You sell the potions? No, you sell strange souvenirs. What are those for? Are those just to have? Because that makes no sense to just sell that. I guess it's just, oh hey, this is where that guy got that thing. You sell soup, you don't even sell super potions, you bastards. You monsters, how could you not even sell a super potion? Do you sell super potions? You don't, you sell Pokeballs, okay. Well, no one here sells super potions, how are we on super potions anyway? We have... We've got seven, we need more super potions. We need more super potions and we need more potions, so I'm gonna go run back to the mart real quick before we actually go too far. Because I am not taking any chances anymore, folks. I, I am beyond the point of taking chances. Eh, Stoutland works. Also, apparently Stoutland's actually faster than Tauros. Because Stoutland's normal running speed is Tauros's charging speed, I think, or a little bit slower than it. But you don't have to hold down B, so... Mm. Welcome to the Technical Machine Shop. I would if I had the money, but I don't. So, piss off. Oh, you have a Sparkling Z? You clear Kawaii's trial. Congratulations, you can now purchase more shit. Yes, I will. Thank you. What did you unlock? I didn't even unlock anything. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, baby. Folks, I you don't know what this is, but you need these for shiny hunting. So I am happy that I did confirm that. But right now, right now we can't get those. We need these. We need like 15 of these. We need like 7 of these. Revives are 2,000 a piece now? Jesus! What, what, were they like 17, 700 or something like that? Actually, speaking of revives, I could probably sell these for... Yeah, I could sell these for some money. I could sell that for some money. Uh, do I have anything else I could sell? I can sell you the world. Shining, shimmering discounts. So it's pearl. Use that to buy some more supplies. Before we head out, 
Because apparently, folks, I kind of I glanced ahead to see how many areas we have this episode. I didn't look to see what you can encounter. I just looked ahead. I looked to see, okay, Route 7 is connected to Route 8. Route 8 is connected to Route 5 and 7. That's all I looked at. So it looks like that's the only thing. So we are going to at least get one encounter this episode. I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy... Three more of these, making an even 25. How are we on balls? We're good on balls. We're good on potions. Uh, we're okay on items. We could use some more repels. I'll buy some super repels this time. 12 of those. Alright. And you know what? For, for lols, I'll buy two adrenaline orbs. Because I could use those for grinding too if I need to. So, let's continue on, shall we? Sh shall we, folks? Oh boy. I I'm still shaking up from last episode. Because people didn't spoil for me what the Pokemon are. All they told me was, Spook, you better get ready because the trials are only going to get hard as hell. Like, one friend even told me, a close personal friend who tried to nuzlocke the game, said, this game is hard to nuzlocke, not because of... It, it's easy at parts, but when it gets hard, it gets hard. So, yeah. Anyway... Oh, that's firing Z. Congratulations on, clear on clearing Kawaii's trial. In that case... Hey, new root. New root. New root. New encounter. Come on, encounter! Cl Captain Malice trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush Jungle. Oh. I did not see Lush Jungle. I only saw Route 5 and Route 8. So, what's out here, anyway? There's a fishing spot. I am not going to do that, folks, because I do not want to. There is a Zygarde cell. Yoink. I wonder how many of these I need to complete to make Zygarde 10%. I wonder if that would count as an encounter, folks. You there? Aw, oh, crap. Wait, is that... Is that who I... Is that Colrus? That's Colrus! Chorus, what the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be in black and white. Get back there. Get back in Unova, you crazy-haired freak. <coughs> I need a I need a voice for Chorus. One second, folks. Oh, excuse me. I am sci I'm a scientist. My name is Chorus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokémon. What brings out the power the power of Pokémon is I believe that is the bond they share with the trainer. And thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Spookalai, is it? I will remember that name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you this TM. Flame Charge. Useless. If you're able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to have great battles with totems with a totem in the next trial. The trial of Lust Jungle. Z Power. Is this the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently, there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called the Pokepelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Spookalai, I hope to see you again sometime. Okay. We need an encounter in this grass, folks. Is there anything else, or is it just grass? Looks like it's just grass. Okay. Alright. We need something decent. Actually, wait. Let me. I'm gonna go... Mm, I'm gonna go over here. This grass is... This grass looks more tempting. We need... Honestly, what we need, we need a fire type. If they have fire types in this grass, we need a fire type or a bug type. Because if it's water for... If it's what if Malo if it's Malo Malo's Pokemon are Grass type, so that means the next trial will be Grass type Pokemon. We have Hanzo to cover that. That's it. So let's see what we find. No whammy. I, I can't look. Please be something I can use. It's. Are you serious? Of course, of course, it's a young goose. Female young goose. 
I do not know what to name this thing, folks. This, this that makes me mad. Oh, don't you fucking dare! Oh, oh, thank God. Thank God. Don't don't do that to me. Okay, root eight. Young Goose. Sorry, I'm just writing this down so I remember it. I'm gonna false swipe it. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try and weaken it so I can catch this stupid thing. Cause that makes me. Mm, I don't know what else I could have caught in this grass, folks. But there had to be something better than Young Goose. There had to be. Uh, I'm gonna use a Quick Ball, I guess. Quick Ball looks okay with the Young Goose. One. Two. Really, Young Goose? You, you, you're not that important. You are not that important, Young Goose. I'm sorry to tell you that. You're not that important. Exactly. No one even came to help your ass. Uh, why, why do I get the booty encounters, folks? Like, not to be mean to people. I'm sure there's people out there that like Young Goose. It's just... I could have had something better. I just know it. Because Young Goose is the Rattata of this game. Well, Alolan Rattata is the Rattata of this game. But Young Goose is the rodent-looking Pokemon that you get that's, like, the starting Pokemon. Like Pidgey is. Like, pick a peck is for Pidgey. And we encounter this thing. I guess the only reason that the only good thing about it is that's dupes for the future. But still. Young Goose, the loitering Pokemon. It wanders around in a never ending search for food. At dusk, it can collapses from exhaustion and falls asleep on the spot. I don't even know what to name this thing, I'll be honest. It's a female Young Goose. I'm gonna call it. It's a Stalker. Uh. I'm gonna call it. They're, they're the stalking Pokemon. They stalk. I'm gonna call it. What the hell is the name? What, what is the name of the female Jeff the Killer? Is it Jane the? Ki it's Jane the Killer. So I'll name it Jane. Also, cause that smile. Would it fit? T H E. It might fit. Let's see. If not, I'll just name her Jane. I'll just name her Jane. K I L I. Oh, I won't fit. All right, Jane it is. So we got Jane the Killer here, folks. I'm I'm butt hurt. I am butt hurt, folks. So I want to see what my encounter would have been if it wouldn't have been Young Goose. I, I want to see it, folks, because I already I, I could feel the salt welling up inside me. That's do that's uh species, because that's evol that's Pekapex of all form. That's species, so that doesn't matter to me. We could have got... We could have got... Boy! And it's female too! Oh, that, that, that hurts. That stings, folks. That fucking, oh my god, you have Dragon Rage, why? Oh my god, folks, I I'm so fucking done. I my brain has officially left the building. Spook's brain has officially left the building, folks. This fucking thing has Dragon Rage? Are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. We lost... Party boat at 14, I'll say 1420. I am so done, folks. I am so done. Charizard, get, get me back to, get, get me to um the, the nearest Pokemon Center. I have to go bury another goddamn Pokemon. Oh, the salt of this episode, folks. You know what, that'll be the question of the day. What's the saltiest thing the saltiest thing about Pokemon that's ever happened to you? For me, it's this episode. Because that that's just fucking Oh. We we get the bad encounter, 
We find out there was Salandit, which would have been awesome to have because a fire poison type. It was female, so it could have evolved. Because for those of you who do not know, Salandit can only evolve. Only female ones can evolve, apparently. Actually, that's decent. Impish, uh, impish with strong jaw. That's decent. I'll say that much. But we don't need you. We really don't need you. Because I don't need another normal type, folks. I already have Zenyatta. I don't need another war normal type. That's why Mimi's not in the party. That's why Eevee's not in the party. Because we don't need another normal type. Oh, uh, you know what? Screw it. I I'll add Darwin to the party because at the very least, he can evolve into something that's not normal. So, Darwin now joins the squad. I'll put that in. I'll put this in real quick. Added Darwin. Also, I read the comments of, la of the episode where I asked what Eevee Lucian do you guys want me to turn him into. It seems like the only comment so far has been to name him, to evolve it into Vaporeon. So if I ever find a Water Stone, it will become a Vaporeon. Which doesn't help us for the next trial, but whatever. I I I it's what you guys voted for. Oh, you could feel, you could hear the butt hurt in my voice right now, folks. You can honestly hear the butt hurt in my voice. You can honestly. Hear... <sighs> ah, I'm so done with this up. I'm so done. I I'm done with this session. We're not even halfway through episode two. <laughs> ah, I just want it to stop. I just want the pain to stop, folks. I honestly do. I just want the pain to stop. What the hell? Attacking from a high places to a, that's 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 what we call a advantage. But what you're doing is what we call a dick move. So what do you got? You've got bon sweet. Bon sweet. Grass type. Cute. About to die. About to die, folks. I repeat myself. About to die. Horn attack. Sweet scent. Really? Really? Get out of here. G just chew. Tauros, just kick it into the next dimension, please. Also, we- hold on, folks. I'm sorry. I I'm looking it up real quick. I need to learn- I need to see what Tauros' new set is, because I need to learn when he gets an attack- a new normal type attack. Because horn attack's okay, but it's not strong. Tauros' next normal type move is... Oh god, he doesn't learn takedown till level 41? Are you serious? About to send out a Trump beak. Uh, Darwin's not going out. Looks like Zenyatta's gonna be gaining levels here, folks. I'm tempted to put the experience share on just so the lower level Pokemon can train up. So I don't have to, like, do any serious grinding, but... I don't know what to do, folks. I I'm still... I, I can't believe we got blown back so hard last episode. Because we had two water types. One was underleveled. Actually, they were both technically underleveled. Because that's the downside of doing a blind Nuzlocke. I don't know what level these Pokemon are. I don't even know what level the next Pokemon... I don't even know what the next Pokemon is. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be... Uh, Bone Sweet's Final Evolution. Cause that that makes sense. Oh wait, this is graph. I don't need. I could have got if that if that that's berry. I could have got a crab brawler, folks. I could have got a, a crab brawler. That would have been my first encounter. That would have been helpful. That because that's something we don't have. We don't have a fighting type. Crab brawler. Why couldn't you be my friend? Why crab brawler? Why? Hashtag why. I'm gonna switch though, cause I do not want to uh, fight this thing with Zenyatta. Cause that would be stupid of me. Especially if this thing has power punch. Cause Hala's did, and I don't want a nightmare. I don't want to relive the nightmare that was uh, that was episode nine. Oh god, folks. I, I hope there, there has to be another area in here. There has to be some kind of other area in Route 8 that's broken up over time. There has to be something. 
because if there's not, and we're going into this jungle place, the only thing I can hope for is I get a bug type. And I know what you guys are thinking, but Spook, you've got a Caterpie and a Parasect in your, uh, in your PC. Yes, because Parasect and Butterfree are known for their abilities to destroy Pokemon. They're absolutely known for their ability to just kill everything. What's over here? What is this? Welcome to Dream Park, where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Someday this whole place is going to be filled to bursting with Pokemon from the ancient park, period. That's my dream for this park, the Dream Park, to bring back the ancient world back to life. Are there Pokemon here now? It, can, can I encounter stuff here? Can, can I encounter stuff here? How do I do this? Maybe this is a time event? A time sensitive event? There's an item. There's a Thunderstone. I, I could make Darwin a Jolteon, because that would be useful. Th there, this must be some kind of time-based thing. Like, Pokemon, you must be able to revive them afterwards or something like that. I don't know. Let's continue on. There's a Pokemon Center right here. <laughs> Folk, I'm ready to cry. Hello. Burble, burble, burble. Naturally, there are a lot of grass types in Lush Jungle. Do you know Flying Fire Bug? Yes, we have Flying. You know about Poke Pelago? It's a really fun you can deposit. There's a Pokemon called Comfy that you can find in Lush Jungle that can well. It, if you clear Malice Trial, you should spend some time searching for Pokemon in the jungle. Mm, you can ride Charizard. I'll, then I'll give you a good open X and hit X. Press R to find. Oh, when did we unlock that? When did we unlock that? Did we just unlock that? Oh shit, I was gonna... Huh. Welcome, you've come to Pokepelago. These uninhabited islands exist solely for the delight of Pokemon. But I suppose I shouldn't introduce myself, eh? Ha ha ha, how rude of me. You can call me Mon! I'm in charge of the keeping the Poke Palago running, and you are Spookalai, right? Okay, then let's get things started. The Pokemon that you've de deposited in your Poke in your PC box can freely come here to Poke Palago to have a bit of fun whenever they want. Right now, we only have one small island available for them to play on, but you'll help me out. That won't be true for very long. So here's what you need to do: first, pick up Poke Beans that have fallen to the ground on the island. Okay. Pokemon love Poke Beans. They're delicious and nutritious. They can also spout, sprout into Poke Bean stalks, like the one in the middle of the island. The one you just picked up is a plain bean. There are also rare Poke Beans called Pattern Beans and even Rainbow Beans. I love hands-on learning, don't you agree? So why don't we give your Poke Bean stalk a good shake and see what happens? Shake the bean stalk and drop some Poke Beans. Pick up the Poke Beans to add to your store. Okay, now you've got it. See, isn't it better learning? You can collect Poke Beans once a day. If new, no new beans, then wait a day. Okay, put some Poke Beans you collect into, po into the Poke Bean crate. Then they'll be handy for any hungry Pokemon wandering around the island to eat any time. Okay, you can drop them in there, but it won't let me drop them. Isle of Bean in the crate here. You can even catch... So we can get a wild Pokemon from this, folks. I'm gonna say that counts as a wild Pokemon. Wonderful to see you again. This fateful day. I built this place myself and it's not too shabby, but I dare say so. I have everything I could need to keep. Okay, so Spookalai, I've got a few favors to ask a promising game trainer. Pokalai only has, okay, one says you've seen. If you would liken to the Pokemon, it's a level one babe just hatched from its egg. So I like you, Pokemon put some effort in developing the island. So this man wants me to do to make the islands better. So if we can. So these are all the Pokemon here. There are no wild Pokemon visiting. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put ten Poke Beans in there for now. Oh wow, all of the Pokemon, even our dead ones, go here. So I'm gonna this is gonna be kind of weird to do. Yeah, I'll leave Poke Pelago for now. I'll just let them hang out and do whatever. 
All right, so we learned about Pokepelago. That's interesting. Uh, there's an option I have, but I really don't want to go for it, folks. I can use Blackjack because Poison Flying, she she has the best chance of surviving any attacks. But I, I don't know. We'll see about it next episode because I'll decide upon it in between episodes. First, I want to see if I can get into Lush Jungle to get an encounter there. If, it, if it's like, oh, hey, trial starts now, then I will cry. It's over here. Is that a Pokemon? Oh, you can catch a Pokemon right here. But does that count as a static Pokemon? Do you know what stats describe a Pokemon strength mean? Yes, I know what that is. I, I am not a newbie, as you would say. Lush Jungle, can I... Is this Lush Jungle? No, this is Route 5. And that is the trial area for Lush Jungle. What's over here? There are things and places and people. Okay. But that doesn't answer my question. I don't want to go in and do the Lush Trials just yet. If I walk straight in, is it going to do it? You know what we're going to do, folks? We're going to, we're going to cheat a little bit, I guess. We're going to save right here. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take a step in, and I'm gonna see what happens. If it does make it to where, like, yeah, she's right there. Okay, so I can't get my encounter. So, god damn it, folks. I don't know what to do. I guess I could do a grinding montage, because we're gonna need it. We're gonna need all the help we can get coming up. Huh? Siri wants to talk to you? 10% so far. If you would like to know what this number means, please come to the Aether Base on Route 16 on Ulala Island. You are getting warmer, bon chance. I want to try and get this Pokemon. I wonder how I get to it. Does it come back out if I just leave? No, I probably have to go into Pokemon Center and I have to chase it down again. Okay, so... Oh, this is... Trainers. I'm stupid. When it comes to golf or poke, okay, I don't care. Well, then tell you what, folks. What we'll do is in I'll end it off after this battle, and in between episodes, I'll do some grinding. I'll try and gather my team together and see what I can do, what I can put together. Because if Lush Jungle is full of grass types, I have flying types as options. I'm not completely screwed, but I'm going to need to do grinding for them. So you'll probably get a grinding montage next episode for you. So, good for you guys. You get to see Spook fail. Rock throw. Ow. They did like some damage. Horn attack. Just spam horn attack, honestly. I just realized, why don't you learn Brick Break? That would be really useful if you can learn Brick Break. Oh well. Can't be helped. At least it was a quick fight, though. Jeez, that was easy. What a miss! My performance. Yeah, I don't care. I'll be honest, I do not care, sir. Alright, so let's head to the Pokemon Center and we'll end it off for this episode. We'll end it off early. I hope you all did enjoy. I'm sorry we didn't really do much this episode. But, next episode we're going to be doing the Lush Jungle Trial, so get ready for it. If you haven't already, make sure to go and slash that like button to pieces to show your support for the series. And if you haven't already, make sure to answer the question of the day. What was your saltiest moment? Mine was probably this episode. Uh, other than that, I hope you all did enjoy. I will see you all in the next amazing video. And remember to always stay spooky. Bye, guys.